Hi everyone, this is Teacher Mel. Ngayon, pag-aaralan naman natin ang derivative of the product. Para madali nating maintindihan si derivative of the product, kailangan makabisado natin or mafamiliarize ang statement na ito, how product rule works. Okay, so yung derivative of the product is equal to the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. Okay, i-apply natin. Kung meron tayong f of x is equal to the quantity of 3x squared minus 5x times the quantity of x squared minus 2x. Okay, so kunin natin ang derivative of the function with respect to x. Okay, ano yung una natin ginagawa? Ang una natin gagawin kapag mag apply tayo ng product rule ay alamin natin kung an ano yung ating first and second. So, yung color blue, this would be our first. And the second one, this would be our second. Okay? Okay, apply na natin ang ating product rule, derivative ng product. It sabi, the derivative of the product is equal to the first. Ito, the first. Ano yung first natin? Ang first natin ay 3x squared minus 5. And, ano yung sunod na sabi? Times. Times what? Times the derivative of the second. Okay, kukunin natin ang derivative ng second. Ano ang derivative nito? Kukunin natin ang derivative nito. Kasi it says derivative of the second. Okay? So, kunin natin ang derivative niyan. That would be x squared. Ano yung uh, derivative ng x squared? That would be the power times the base raised to the power minus 1. Derivative ng 2x is just 2 times 1. Okay? So, meron na tayong first times the second, derivative the second plus. Ayan. Tingnan nyo. Plus the second. So, plus the second. Plus, ano ba yung second? Ang second natin ay x squared minus 2x times, anong sabi? Times the derivative of the first. Ano yung derivative ng 3x squared minus 5? Kung kukunin natin ang derivative niyan, that would be 3, the function, times 2x raised to 2 minus 1, and then minus, derivative ng 5, ang derivative ng constant ay 0. Kaya, meron tayo 0 minus 0. Okay? Now, let's simplify. Simplify natin. Okay? So, copy ko na to. 3x squared minus 5 times 2x, 2 minus 1 is 1, minus 2 times 1 is 2, plus x squared this becomes ito, 2 minus 1 ay 1, and then multiply natin yung 2x kay 3, kaya naging 6x, minus 0. Pwede natin hindi na isulat si 0. So, we have 6x. Next, i-apply na natin ang FOIL method. Ayan, apply natin ang FOIL method for this one. So, the first term, 3x squared times 2x. This one. 3x squared, multiply natin sa 2x. Kaya, meron tayong 6x cubed Next ay first term, outer term. Ang outer term natin ay 3x squared times negative 2. So, this becomes negative 6x squared. And then, inner term, negative 5 times 2x is negative 10x. Outer term, negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10. And then, we combine like terms if meron. Okay. So, on other side naman, distribute lang natin si 6x. 6x times x squared, this becomes 6x 
cube minus 6x times 2x is 12x squared. And then, we combine like terms. Meron ba ditong pwedeng makombine? Okay, so we have this one. That would be 6x squared cube plus 6x cube is 12x cube. And then, meron pa this one. So, that would be negative 18x squared minus 10x plus 10. Okay? Then, this would be our final answer. This one. This would be our final answer. Okay?